Okay, so today in class we were continuing to look at the algebraic properties, commutative, associative, distributive, identity. And we were not just seeing what they are, but we were seeing what they can do and how we can actually use them when we have expressions to kind of simplify those. And it's how we're going to be also using them in math sort of longer term. Okay, so I'm going to just review the four real quick. We had commutative, a plus b plus c for any three numbers is going to be the same thing as a plus c plus b. So I can move two numbers and it's going to equal the same thing. We think commutative moving. Also works for multiplication. a times b times c is going to give us the same answer as a times c times b. Again, I can move the numbers, get the same answer. Associative has to do with like who you're associating with. Okay? If I have a, b, and c and I'm adding all of them together, I can either add a and b first or I could add b and c first. Same thing with multiplication, or if a number is touching parentheses, that means multiplication. So I have a times b times c, that means I'd multiply b and c first, or I could multiply a and b first, I'm going to get the same answer. We also have distributive, so it's distributive, we could have a times parentheses b plus c, I could rewrite that by distributing the a to the b and the c, so a times b, keep the operation the same equals a times c. This also works for subtraction. And then identity just means a number is staying the same. So if I add 0 to any number, it's going to stay that number. If I multiply any number by 1, it's going to stay to be the same number. Okay. So then we're going to look at a couple quick examples of how we can actually apply this. Let's say I had 5 plus x plus 7. And I wanted to take this, I wanted to simplify a little bit. I want to see if I can condense it to make it a smaller problem or a nicer expression, looks a little bit neater. And I can do that by noticing that I have an x and a 7 here. And I want to add left to right, but I have to, if I move the x over here and the 7 right here, if I move those numbers, commutative, then I could rewrite this as 5 plus 7 plus x, which is the same thing as 12 plus x. So I've made it a little bit simpler. I've turned it from being three things to just two things. And that was the commutative property, so I'm just going to put a C over here just to remind me that's how I did that. Let's say I had another problem. Let's say I had uh, x plus 4 plus 9, but the x and the 4 are in parentheses. I can take that and I can make that an easier problem, or sort of simplified of it. If I take my parentheses and realize this is all addition, so it really doesn't matter which two numbers I add first, I could rewrite this as x plus parentheses 4 plus 9. That's the associative property, so I'm going to put an A right there. And that gives me x plus 13. So again, all I've done is I've taken these numbers and I've turned them into a little bit of a simpler form, combined any numbers that I can. We're going to look at another one. Let's say we had 3 times x minus 4. So now we'll notice here first that we have two different operations taking place, multiplication and subtraction. If I have those, I can't really use the associative property yet. I can't really use the commutative property because I have two different operations. But I can use the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute the 3 to the x and to the 4, and the operation is going to stay the same. So I have 3 times x minus and the 3 is going to distribute to the 4. 3 times 4, that gives me 3x minus 12. And I use the distributive property here, so I'm just going to put a D. So we're seeing there's a lot of ways that we can use these to sort of simplify math problems. And longer range, we're going to be doing things where we're solving equations, and if you do this first, you're going to have an easier time solving the problem. Do one quick one with identity. Let's say I had 7 times x times 1. We know that anything times 1 is just going to equal itself. So I can actually just eliminate that and just say this is the same thing as 7x. Identity property. I'll circle that. We're going to also look at, there's, so this is a lot of information. But we're going to look at how these problems can actually be a little bigger. Or we might even use two, two different properties at once. So let's say I had 5 plus x plus 4, but those are in parentheses. Now if I really want to break down my thinking step by step, the first property I can apply is I can look and say, oh, I want to add that 5 and the 4, but they're not next to each other yet. I always want to work left to right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the place of the x and the 4. I'm going to move those numbers. That's going to be the commutative property. I'm going to rewrite this as 5 plus parentheses 4 plus x. Then, now I can take the parentheses and just shift those over to the left. I'm not moving the numbers. I'm just shifting the parentheses. And I could rewrite that now as 9 plus x. So I've taken, again, three different things, and I've combined it and turned it into 9 plus x. We'll do one more. Let's say I had 6 plus 4 times x plus 2. Now I've got some addition here. I've got some multiplication. I'm definitely going to have to apply the distributive property because I have multiplication and addition right here. So I'm just going to kind of leave this 6. It's just going to kind of come back down. I'm going to keep that addition symbol. I'm just going to drop those. And then I'm going to distribute this 4 to the x, and I'm going to distribute the 4 to the 2. So we could say 4 times x plus 4 times 2. So then that would give us 6 plus 4x plus, and I can do this multiplication now, 8. All right, so this was distributive right here. So now I have 6 plus 4x plus 8. Now I can't add the 6 and the 4x because I don't know what x equals. So this, the x is always going to end up staying kind of by itself. But I can move these two numbers around. So I could rework this as saying 6 plus 8 plus 4 x. That's the commutative property. And then now I can add this 6 and the 8. So this would give me 14 plus 4 x. And this is where I think it gets kind of interesting. If you have a big long problem with a lot of stuff, you can often simplify it. You can simplify the expression to be a lot more simple, um, to have a lot, lot less of operations, because you can do a bunch of the math already using these algebraic properties. So I think the really fun ones are the ones where it's a big, long expression, and then you slowly work your way down, and then at the very end you just have something really simple. All right, so go ahead and try that tonight, and good luck.